or get off to the industry if they want to try and go to work. And you'll see it. You'll see that people will line up the residential in the evening when they want to go home. And in the morning, they'll line up at the industry because they're going to work, which is pretty nice. So it works out pretty well. And something we're going to do next is most likely spruce up the place. So we're going to try and put up a park here somewhere. I'm trying to think what we can put. I think I saw an ice sculpture park somewhere. Where is it? I know it's somewhere in here. What is this? A cross-country skiing park? Well, we don't really need that there at the moment, so we're not going to worry about it. I thought it was somewhere around here. Am I just seeing things? Local swimming pools? I don't think we want any local swimming pools there. <laughs> That'd be a bit crazy. Where is this thing? I know there's an ice sculpture park somewhere. Unique buildings, maybe? Maybe it's these. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff here that we need to unlock. It's crazy. I can't wait to unlock it, though. We'll have fun building that stuff. Okay, I think we'll just put a snowman park here for right now. We have a bit of a... Is this... Okay, that's dead even, which is pretty nice. We can spruce up the place and make it look really good with some paths and stuff. Make it look like a really nice place to come and hang out. So I think if we... Let's go ahead and do some curvy road stuff here. I like the curvy road. There we go. Perfect. And then we can have it come up like that again. Does this actually connect? It doesn't appear so. It doesn't seem like it wants to connect to that, which is a big shame. Because I thought it did. Well, at least it kind of looks like it does. Which is fine in my book. Okay, perfect. And then we can have a straight one come off to this side. Just kind of linking up everything. It's like a, a homemade park in a way. Someplace nice for the people who are waiting for the buses to come and kind of hang out. We can put some trees here just to kind of fill up the place so people while they're waiting for the bus can go out and hang on under the trees and do the deed I guess. I don't know sometimes. <laughs> nice and cold. Ah perfect. Okay so that is done for. We have our district. Is it covering it? It is just a little bit. Perfect. Oh no what's going on? <laughs> There's not enough people working the factories. They have gone... Oh wow, we are making $4,000 though. It's pretty nice. But there's not enough people in the factories. I may have just demolished the factory that was actually okay. But we're going to have to get rid of these guys. We're going to have to build some more residential. Especially now since we have control of the bus line. Oh shit, I accidentally deleted it. <laughs> Sorry about that, friend. I just got rid of your your business that you've had for the longest time. Okay, we're going to have to sort out the power line mess that is currently going on. So this looks connected. We can get rid of these. It's a shame that this is right here next to where I want to kind of expand out to. It's a big shame indeed. But I think we can come out a little bit more with this road here. Um, let's go ahead and get curvy roads off. I think we could probably jam some more people right here. I don't know why that... Is there a bus line right there? I think I may have just gone over one. No? Is everything fine? Okay, everything seems to be okay. Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Looks like there is a water pipe right underneath, but we should be fine. Perfect. Now we can zone in some more residential because we are in high demand of it. And we could put some in here too. And since we've done that, we can come out with another road right here. Uh, that will match up perfectly. Okay. These people are going to live right next to the windmill, but I think that's fine. We can definitely move this eventually. I'm trying to think where we would move this off to. Probably just over here somewhere. We have this unlocked. We can make that our designated zone for water. And we can have sewage way over here. We may have to do that eventually. And speaking of it, we may do it right now. Okay, let's see how we're we doing with water. We're, we are, of course, going to have to have a pipe connect all of these things. We really are. Okay, we're doing fine on water and everything. So, we'll go ahead and put one just right over here, I think. I think right here is where we'll have the water. And we can actually do with moving the windmill over there as well. I think we should be fine if we do that. It looks like there's plenty of windmill space. We can go ahead and move this over as well. We're going to have to pause it though since we are we are kind of just moving their only source of water 
away from them. So we don't want things to get too crazy. But I think we can actually put just regular water pipes connecting the two. They have their own power source, which is nice. And there we go. I think that works pretty well. And over here with the sewage, we can probably do with moving it over here, I guess. And have it own have its own windmill, I guess, as well. We want the water to flow that way, which is nice. Okay, we're going to have two. We're kind of preparing for the worst. We're just making sure we have enough to actually control and not worry about it. Because if we have two of each right now and we were at max before, then we should be absolutely fine. Okay, let's connect those up. They don't need to be heated water pipes, which is nice. Uh, let's get out of this mode. We can finally delete these power lines, which is pretty nice. A bit of an eyesore for these people. And speaking of eyesores, these people live right next to the highway. So we're going to have to spruce it up a bit. Maybe put some trees in between. And make it so they're not getting blasted by people on the highway. Now I think that should work. Let's just double check with the piping. Yes, it seems that it works. Okay. Let's see what happens. Anybody dying? Anybody dying yet? No? Everything looks like it's getting power. Tons of wind power here if we want to make some uh, sea turbines, which is pretty nice. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing pretty optimal with heating. We could be doing a little bit better, but hey, it's fine. It's fine as it is. Okay, now that we've done that, we can actually move a curvy road up the, up the coastline here, which is pretty nice. But we'll make this come down all the way to right there, I say. And we're going to have a nice big cliffside along the water's edge. Hopefully the water doesn't come up any higher. I don't know if it will or not. I'm hoping it won't. <laughs> we're going to have a nice road going all the way up this river, I guess. River, rivery type area. Oh, perfect. Oh, this is nice. This is what I like doing. I like planning out roads to make everything look really nice. There we go. I like how it's kind of making the hill a bit steeper next to the road. Okay, we have a bit of a curve here. Okay, how are we going to do this? Like this? Okay, perfect. Oh, this is great. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> Golden. All the way around. Look at that. The snow plows are going to have to go all the way around this, I just realized. And look. Who is this? Who in the world is this? Who is this coming all the way out here? It's a sports car. Who? I Where is this person going? Okay. Where is he going? Worker at Ready to Wear Limited. He's driving home. I don't know. There's no home out here. Let's follow him and see where he goes. <laughs> it's a dead end. Oh, he turned around. Okay, I see. <laughs> he just realized. I think he did a legal U-turn. There's another person. Okay, so... To avoid the mess of... Okay, I'm just making sure I get off, get off following that person. To avoid the mess of the snowplows, having to come all the way around here and wasting time, we're going to build a road that comes straight out. Oh, we can't. We can't quite... It's going to be a bit... It's going to be a bit curvy there, but we can fix that eventually. So people can actually take the scenic route all the way around. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? I think that's excellent. Look at that. It goes all the way around. That's pretty much like the outline for our city. And I think in between recording sessions, I'll end up saving a bunch of money. So at one point in time, we can actually just pause the game and we can revamp this highway because I have ideas for how we're going to do that, which is going to be very nice. We'll have some nice main roads coming throughout the place. And we'll have to do that next time, that's for sure. Okay, how are we doing here? Okay, factories are up. We may have to build some more factories as well. Are these snow dumps here? They are, okay. Garbage dumps and snow dumps. We can build some more factories right right here. Looks good. Perfect. Right next to the coal power plant that we have. Speaking of power, we are good on. Okay. Brilliant. So, we had some demand for industry there. And that should be fine. People should move in and start working there pretty quickly. We can fix up this neighborhood here and kind of complete it in a way. Uh, we have a road here that doesn't really need to be there. That's just going to cause some issues. We may have to make another bus route eventually. Uh, where's the roads? There we go. Can we cram more people here? I think we can. I think if we do this, we can cram more people. We'll try and cram as many people as we can into this area. Okay. 
how we're doing with pipes. We have this weird system of pipes now that used to be there, but I think we should be fine if we just leave them there. Uh, I kind of want to change it. <laughs> it's something that will probably bug me in the future. Okay, let's go ahead and get heating pipes set up through here to kind of follow the road. Perfect. Okay, and we'll have one come across like this and like this. Okay, we should be good. Now we can put some more residential in, even though we don't necessarily need much more. We are going to put them in here anyways. Look at these people. They, they are right on the edge. They are living on the edge, that is for sure. <laughs> Hopefully the water doesn't rise. I've had some times where the water rises. It shouldn't though. It looks fine. It looks like it's... Right here it dips down a little bit, but it looks like they should be safe for the meantime. Which I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> That's the last thing we want is people to start flooding. That would be terrible. Our city doesn't cover that. Our city does not cover flood insurance, okay? I'm terribly sorry about that. Okay, we're getting a lot more residential moved in, which is nice. A little bit more of a demand for industry as it comes. We're making close to $4,000 um, a week, I guess. We'll go a week. And everything is turning out pretty well. What we can do next is what I was talking about earlier is we can put some trees kind of right here. Because these people live right next to the highway, and highways are super loud. And that's the last thing you want to do is live right next to a highway and have it be super loud. Especially when you're trying to sleep. It's just like the worst thing ever. And in real life, they usually do have some kind of sound barriers and stuff. I know we can upgrade the highway here to have sound barriers. I'm not sure if we have unlocked that yet. But um, I'll check in a second and see if we do. And if we do, we'll probably save that for next time when I actually have a, a bunch of money to revamp the roads. Because that's usually what I like to do. I like to kind of take a good break, pause the game, and just revamp the roads in a major way. <laughs> and make sure that uh, nobody is going to die or <laughs> services can't get to other people while I'm doing the roads. Because that's crazy. It, when you have to redo the whole thing, it, it's just really bad. Okay. We're putting trees in like crazy, which is good. It makes it look really, really nice put some trees next to that guy who's right on the edge okay look at this it's like their own little forest line doesn't that look so much better in a way we're gonna have to put some more right here gonna make it look like it blends in and then fleshes out which is pretty nice okay here we go if you hear me clicking I'm clicking away <laughs> I'm putting so many trees everywhere I used to have the tree brush installed it's a mod where I think you hit the plus or minus keys and it kind of puts trees in a certain radius for you but I think we should be fine like that okay that's nice it's a little bit of a sound barrier for people see if you're right here you can't see a highway really just barely and um, it looks pretty good and if you're on the highway you can't really see houses so it should help with the sound a little bit I would think all right brilliant okay so how are we doing we're doing pretty well so far we need some more industry which I think is crazy I think that's really crazy we have a high demand for industry okay we're gonna put some down anyways right here do we have a heating pipe there we do oh how close are we to our next milestone we need less than 400 people to move in to buy another tile I think can we buy another tile once we hit this milestone no we cannot which is a shame because I really want to buy this tile here so we can really expand out and definitely in between episodes, I'll save up enough money so we can revamp the whole city. I'll probably save enough money to lay out the road system for the entire island here. And it's really coming together if you look at it. It's really nice. We may end up elevating the highway all the way across the island here. Because it is a pretty big island. And if we elevate the highway, then we should be good. We should be able to have roads come out through underneath it, which should really help with traffic, which will be nice. And already you can see the roundabout like I was talking earlier. It, it It's going to clog up eventually, which is not going to be very good. So, we'll definitely do that in between sessions. 